Mohan Bhagwat says that there should be a glorious Ram Mandir. We will have to build good, honest and true Hindus in Bharat. Whole world will follow Hindus. And there will be a mass recitation of Vijay Mantra, etc. Uh, for a glorious temple, Sri Ram Mandir. My question to you, sir, is very simple. And let's restrict the debate to this. Should I not believe what Rajnath Singh said in February? Should I not believe what LK Advani said in April? Should I not believe what Mohan Bhagwat said in March? Should I not believe what Venkai and I do said about conversion? Said about what, conversion in April in Vishakhapatnam. Why should I not believe all that, Mr. Venkai and I do? And question you on whether what, whether what, you whether you Mr. are presenting Arnab. two faces, not one. No, no, Mr. Arnab. Where is the contradiction? There is a contradiction. Our respect uh, and our respect, our commitment to culture is known to all. Sir, we believe in cultural nationalism. Sir, I, we I, believe I, that the grand magnificent temple should come at Ayodhya by mutual consent, by discussions, or by legal process. Where does your campaign committee chief We are in power. We did, not, we did not force anything on anybody. And thirdly, with regard to even conversions, what you said, our position is known. Sir, because even on Kashmir, our position no, is known. Sir, because, no, because an, because an impression, you, sir, because because an impression. Sir, because because an impression. Anyway, Honourable may I respond? Jayanti Natarajan wants to respond to you. Yes, Mr. Natarajan. You, you have a problem, Arnab. Yes, sir. Ar Arnab, you have a problem. You don't allow others to complete their faith. No, no, I will, I will I allow you completely, but I want to hear Jayanti's response and come back to it. Why don't you recall the statement made by Venkaiya Naidu when he was the president of the BJP? One hand is BJP ka agenda, the other hand is NDA ka agenda. This is what we have done and we have shown to the people that what we say, we do it and we follow that also. That has been our track record. There is no need for anybody to give certificate to us on this count. And you are trying to put a contradiction between these two. Growth is required. Cultural nationalism also required. But the issue is today we are debating the entire country is worried about the Mr. Naidu, stripping down of the growth. Mr. Naidu, loss I, of jobs. Mr. Loss Naidu, of I do not. That is what people are asking. Mr. Naidu, I do not for a moment discount the importance of development as an issue, which is why we are debating. At the same time, I, I require a, a clarification from you, and that's why we are doing this debate on whether your campaign committee chief, Narendra Modi, and Jayanti Natarajan, just coming to you, I just want to ask very directly, Narendra, uh, Venkai and I do one thing. Please tell me, is Narendra Modi, is Narendra Modi a religious hardliner? Is he a Hindu hardliner? Not at all. Not at all. No, no BJP man can be a religious hardliner. Okay. Now, Jayanti Natarajan, Jayanti Natarajan well, is smiling sarcastically to, to that. that no, then I'd like to quote uh, Mr. Vajpayee back at Mr. Naidu. Uh, when he went to Gujarat uh, in 2002, um, it, you know, it may suit... Uh, I, too, have a lot of respect for Mr. Naidu. I've known him for several years. Uh, and uh, we've talked about uh, many issues on various platforms. But uh, I'd like to quote back at him. You can't get away from the fact that uh, this is what a person's performance is. And when Mr. Vajpayee, as Prime Minister of India, went to Gujarat in 2002 and reminded Mr. Modi about Raj Dharam, what was he talking about? Was he talking about Godra? And thereafter, Mr. Vajpayee, who in 2004 attributed the defeat of uh, the BJP and the NDA in the Lok Sabha elections to what happened in Godra, the, then let me quote Mr. Vajpayee right back at him and say, well, the BJP and the NDA say one thing when they are campaigning. Unfortunately, it's a totally polarizing, uh, it's, a, it's, it's something that polarizes and divides the country on various lines. Uh, when, when a person like Mr. Venkaiah Naidu talks about cultural nationalism, he possibly means one thing. But those moral police in Karnataka where they were so soundly defeated ah. just now, those moral police who beat up young girls who were coming out of a restaurant, those moral police who were beating up young girls in Assam, the moral policing, the kind of righteous uh, moral policing that the BJP the indulges in, that is not cultural nationalism. Is that, is a kind of, that is a kind of imposition that the BJP uh, ruled states are, believe, are doing today and that, that is not something that the nation wants. And if you go back to, to what it's you totally talked the economic indicators that he was talking about, I would still say that yes, we achieved 8%, we achieved even higher growth, we achieved much higher Mr. Uh, Naidu. Successes, economic successes than the BJP could dream of. Hey, but look at the world situation totally today and look at okay. how well insulated of India the... is still. Okay, Mr. Naidu, yes. No, no, she has wrongly quoted Sri Adil Bihari Vajpayee. Vajpayee has never said like that. 
secondly in her anxiety to defend her party she is thinking that assam also is ruled by bjp moral policing assam is ruled by congress party no no no, no, no. i am talking together. about the people what, who did it i am talking about the people who did it that's what i'm saying that, that that's what i'm saying there are there are certain incidents here and there by that can you brush a party like this if there is that is the case then what about the role of jagdish tetlar what is the role of uh, even late hkl bagat no, no, what is the role of sajjan kumar sorry to interrupt what is the role you of i mean in many parts of the country the even in hyderabad no, and communal rights were there and hyderabad I'm congressman mr chennareddy went on record to say that my own party man have conspired to create communal troubles to dethrone me let us not take the debate to that level that level i am very clear if you want to discuss about bjp ideology let us discuss separately if you want to discuss about uh, our election agenda let us discuss it about no, it. narendra modi jayanti natraja jayanti has won election he has won the election on the development agenda the congress party could not dare not even to speak about godra also because they know it will boomerang on them jayanti natrajan they have seen also what has happened in gujarat Ma miss natrajan please consider this yeah. that please consider this that people will ask you as in the congress party that even in haridwar narendra modi skipped any mention of contentious issues like ram mandir or hindutva instead spoke of the wisdom and teaching of the seers he said i am not a leader of all the hindus alone i care for everyone i am not a leader of hindus i care for everyone's happiness i thought that was a bold comment secondly not one communal riot in gujarat in the last 12 years his speeches no can you in inclusive inclusive growth in he's he's trying to position himself as a inclusive leader for all which brings me to my critical question that miss jayanti natrajan the narendra modi of today the bjp argues will be a very different narendra modi from the polarizing modi who made the infamous hum do hamare 25 comment it will be very different from the narendra modi who took jibes at chief election commissioner lingdo the problem is with the congress party that does not want to look at the modi of 2013 but which wants to look at the modi of 2002 am i correct are you trying to recreate the modi of 2002 in 2013 and if you are doing so ms natrajan may i ask you why is it in the national interest to do that Arnab, that's a. Uh, with all due respect to you, you're an eminent political analyst. That's a bizarre formulation. One looks at a person's record. One doesn't look at. You know, this is a Gabelsian propaganda that somebody might try to uh, to project uh, in order uh, to win votes. One looks at a person's record. One looks at what the person did. And if you're talking, uh, you know, this uh, growth model, which I keep repeating, as Mr. Naidu says, if we want to talk about the Gujarat growth model, I can talk about. I can give you. I can say 32% of the people still live below the poverty line. What he's saying is totally wrong. You're talking about what he said in Haridwar. You're talking about all I can see is a person. And besides, uh, let me state one thing categorically. This is not a Modi-centric election for us. Modi is merely isn't it becoming one campaign committee isn't it becoming one BJP. wait a minute no let me say no 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 whatever you say ornab however however you may frame this debate this is something a positive vision of the upa and the congress as envisioned by uh, our president the upa chairperson mrs sonia gandhi the prime minister and our young leader shri rahul gandhi as envisioned by our various schemes by the food security bill that we are trying to pass so many so many other issues that we are not talking about right now the we will stand or fall by our performance if the bjp and nda had done so well in 2004 they would not have lost the election mr modi therefore it's not a modi centric election for us and whatever he says or doesn't say is something it's it's not to decide the 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 turn of the election however let me remind the country that mr modi is the person who till today is totally intolerant of any other opinion even within his own party look at haran pandya look at the kind of people who disagree with modi listen to the stories from gujarat What are you no, suggesting? What happens to those who live? What are you suggesting on Pan, Mr. Harin Pandya? How many TV? What are you debates? suggesting How on Mr. Harin Pandya? You know, he is the Arnab. No, no, no. Who is intolerant is known to the entire country. He spoke Arnab. somewhere where he ah. said that I have now repaid my debt to Gujarat, and now I want to repay my debt to Mother India. 
Well, if his debt, debt to Mother India is a replication of Godra, all I can say is God help Mother India. Well, well uh, two, two minutes into this debate, my last question is a counter to Venkai Naidu, which, uh, which Jayanti Natarajan says. First, she says, Mr. Naidu, we will not trust Modi by his present day positioning. We will trust Modi by his past actions. Secondly, she said, and I saw you smile when she was saying that, because she said that this is not a Modi-centric election. You may want it that way, Mr. Naidu, but they are not going to let it become a Modi-centric election. Your response to both, sir? No, they, they have reacted in such a peculiar manner. The very name of uh, Narendra Modi, they are rattled, they are disturbed, they are petrified. That is seen by the reactions given by a number of people which uh, where the Congress party has to distance itself subsequently. Secondly, my point is, my, secondly, my point is, 50 years Congress party has ruled from parliament to panchayat for municipality Mukhya Mantri. Why the poverty levels are like this? Why the malnutrition is like this? Is it because five years rule of Water Bihari Vajpayee and BJP government? You ruled the country, you ruled the states, you ruled even cities. In spite of all that, what you have done, that's why what I'm saying is to cut short this thing, People will judge us by our performance and by their performance. If they have a political will, let us have this debate, let us be fair to the people and let us put both the performance before the people and let the people decide instead of trying to divert it. Well, I think, one speech I think Mr. Naidu... From there. I can quote Arna. the speech of late Rajiv Gandhi where he has quoted... No, please. Rajiv Gandhi said that if a banyan tree falls, the earth shakes. That was a statement given. Yes, so, uh, and Mr. Modi the, uh, said, the and Mr. Modi said Rahul Gandhi should go and fight the election somewhere else. Mr. Modi, uh, who is the leader of I'm that campaign committee, personal. if this is the level, uh, I wish Mr. Naidu had been the leader of that campaign committee, he would not have stooped so low <laughs> as to say like Mr. Modi, that Rahul Gandhi should go to another country to fight an election. We all know what he means and we know how many times he has personally attacked the family of my leader and personally hurt the feelings of millions of congressmen. Uh, all I can say is, now if that is the level you. of campaign of the BJP, then God help this country. Well, this is going to be a fascinating run-up to the 2014 election. Jayanti the Natrajan debate has to be on issues. Well, sure, Larger but, issues, but developmental right, issues, but right not now, on personal issues. But right so now, Mr. Naidu, you are happy to have it on people. Right now, you, the BJP seems to be very happy to have, have, the, have the debate on people. You are very happy with the Modi-centric run-up. Or aren't you? You're very happy with the Modi-centric run-up to the election. We want it to be development-centric. Well, we will and see the, the way model, it goes. The Madhya Pradesh model, the Chhattisgarh model, the food security of government Madhya Pradesh. Then, we want this to be debated and discussed. Absolutely. But then, the, but then, what is there? He's the most popular leader. Why is the problem? No, no people will also if watch. Whether he's a popular Arnab, leader, then what is the problem? Arnab, no, this is what he should be telling Mr. Nitish Kumar, not me. Well, you haven't got Mitish Kumar on your side yet officially. So, Ven J Venka and I know and Jayanti Natarajan, we are going to watch Kumar, the space. He should be telling Naveen Patnaik, he should be telling those who have left the NDA and not me. Well, we will no, be watching. Tell, don't worry. We tell, don't worry, everybody. Well, we'll be watching the space. Okay. This is going to be a fantastic run up to the general election. Jayanti Natarajan and Venka and I do. Thank you for joining me on my News Hour debate tonight. Thank you.